Welcome back to another goofy tutorial on uh, how to use Inventor and uh, some of the features that Inventor uh, actually has in its arsenal. And what we're going to cover right now is uh, a, what is called a sweep, uh, which is an interesting, interesting little tool. Um, you may use it, you may not, uh, but we'll cover it anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with a circle, or a circle, sorry, and I'm going to say it's going to be a half inch in diameter circle. And just like we did before, now what we're going to do is we're going to actually uh, do an intersecting uh, work plane sketch. Uh, we don't really have to go through and do a uh, create a work plane, uh, but what we are going to do is we're going to go over here to origin and we're going to select an intersecting work plane. And uh, as you see the uh, sweep come along, you'll understand where I'm, I'm going with this a little bit better. Uh, but I'm going to select our YZ uh, work plane and click uh, Create 2D Sketch. And I'm actually going to click on the right-hand side here of our cube. And uh, well, for this little example, I'm just going to create a spline. So you can see what create. We can see what a sweep actually does. Now, it is imperative that you make sure that our no, your your two lines actually intersect. And as you could tell when I was going through this sketch, my starting point was actually the center point of our original sketch here, the circle. If they are not touching, it won't work right. Um, but as you could see here, if I go up to sweep, it automatically does a couple goofy things here. Uh, it's saying that it's going to take this uh, yeah, half inch circle and actually model it on the spline. Now there are two different orientations that we could choose from and that is path and parallel. Now if we change it over to parallel you'll see how this area or, or the surface rather is actually parallel to the initial surface. It's not following the path. It, oh, I mean, it is following the path, but this surface right here is not following the path. Uh, whereas if we click back on path, it'll it'll try and keep it going with our spline. Uh, but for right now, we're just going to leave that as parallel. And there are a couple things that you choose from from here, but typically the most that you'll ever use is uh, the, the type wise would be path. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hit OK. And as you can see, uh, created a nifty little object. Most of the time, if you use anything like this, um, really what would be used for is hoses or wiring, things of that nature. Uh, you could get into 3D sketches, but it's a little bit more... Uh, time-consuming and uh, difficult to comprehend. Um, so a lot of times I've just used sweep. Now granted that is if you're not using Content Center at all. Uh, if you are using Content Center you can actually find uh, a lot of hoses and other information. Uh, also harnesses and things of that nature which we will cover Content Center uh, in the assembly stage much later on. 